Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to my first video. Um, we'll be looking at a tentacle team today. Uh, technically this is called my Cephalopod and Medusazoa uh, team. But uh, getting into it, uh, we have Tentacruel which is a perfectly viable poke. Uh, amazing typing uh, with the weakness policy. Um, starting us off. Um, and then we've got two main uh, threats uh, that, that, that work together, a little bit of synergy. So we've got the Malamar Assault Blast. Um, for those of you who don't know, Malamar's ability, contrary. Uh, if you change its stats, uh, the stats go in the opposite direction, if that makes sense. So basically if you intimidate it, its attack goes up, for example. Um, so very unique uh, ability. Uh, pair this guy with the Grap Locked. Uh, what Graplock has is a move called Octolock, uh, which essentially um, reduces your defense and special defense every turn. So, uh, paired that with the Malamar, contrary, it'll actually get a defense and uh, special defense boost every turn. Uh, combine that with moves like Superpower, which reduces your attack and defense, they'll actually go up every turn. So, uh, very cool synergy between these two uh, squid buddies. Um, next is uh, Jellison, who I absolutely love. Uh, Trick Room Setter, obviously this is a very slow team, uh, so we need to use the Trick Room to make our slow pokes move first. Uh, Got to focus Sash on it so it won't get killed in one shot. Um, and uh, Jellison's ability Water Absorb pairs really well with Octillery, who actually has huge uh, special attack, absolutely uh, enormous. Um, and Octillery is actually the main damage doer on this team, so uh, bring out your Jellicent Octillery uh, first um, set up the trick room with uh, Jellicent, fire off a big Surf with your Octillery Surf hitting the Jellicent to give its, uh, give its health back and then with your Jellicent you can go for a Strength Sap second turn um, and keep spamming uh, Surf with the Octillery and then what Squid Team or Jellyfish Team or Tentacle Team will be complete Without uh, my illegal, so uh, really excited to show this uh, show this team off. Um, so yeah, let's get started and play some games because uh, I'm enjoying having you here. What have you got on our team? All right, gun. So the strat, there's two strats. Jealous and artillery. We lead the uh, jealous and gets a trick room off, and the uh, artillery. A uh, huge special attacker, Surf, and uh, Jellison is water absorbed, so uh, turn one, Trick Room, protect, protect the Octillery, nice uh, powerful Surf, next turn, Jelly gets a lot of its help back, and Octillery is a crazy poke, man, Octillery is crazy poke, great coverage, huge special attack, Moody is crazy, uh, strat number two, the uh, Octo Squid strat, Malamar's ability is uh, contrary, so uh, that means all your stat changes are reversed. For example, if you get intimidated, your attack goes up. Graplock has a move called Octolock, which uh, reduces your defense to special defense. So fire off an Octolock at your own Malamar and uh, boost his defenses. So what the heck is this team? So Malamar Graplock is actually not terrible here. Jellicent and Octillery, I really want to... I really want to try and get the Trick Room off of Jellicent Octillery. Problem is... My team sucks. See, Nihiligo would be so good. Nihiligo obviously is a very powerful Pokemon. We're trying to use it as li little as possible because... We want to showcase some of the other tentacle pokes in the in the meta. Tentacruel, obviously amazing as well. Um, I love getting the Trick Room strat off. I feel like he might lead Grim Snarl and something. So we're gonna pray that he does. My opponent, I don't know what's my opponent's name. Liminal. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do this, boys. The only fairy on the team is the Grim. Hopefully it just has something dumb like Fake Out. I want to see Grim, Rotom in the lead. Grim does something dumb. 
Rotom Electric into Jelly, Protect, and then start uh, killing some fools with the Tentacle team. We're significantly down, but. What does Diggersby do? I mean, if we get Trick Room up, this is going to be amazing. So I'm hoping for non-max an attack into the artillery protect. That way we're guaranteed to get our Trick Room up. The next turn we can start really... Uh... Nice team. Oh, protect, good. I love Garchomp. I have to say, absolutely love Garchomp. Suicune. Suicune is cool. What do you do with your Suicune? Is that not just the most beautiful turn one you've ever seen? Special defense drop. That's all right. So, Artillery's moody. Let's see what we get. Yeah, what do you got in your Suicune? I love... Uh, Suicune or Raikou as well. What was that? Special defense fell? What was the other one? Physical defense up. So we can get our whole health back here. I think we can actually get a KO. I think we might get a double KO. I try to get all types covered. Yeah. I mean, you've got to. Switch out. Ferrothorn. Good switch. Until you realize my artillery gets fire blast. So if we can KO this Gengar, bring it right down to its focus sash. Oh, I don't think we have enough. Yes! That's why you don't mess with the squid team. Oh, water spot is disabled. That's actually all right. That's actually all right. Two beasts and one bird. Yeah, you're doing the, the, the raid dance. Let me know what you need. Maybe I got it at a later speed. That's so bad. Special attack. No. That is the opposite of what we need. So right now. Blastoise. Yeah, very fast, but he's Gengar's for Gengar's not got a lot of defenses. I have to say, does not have a lot of defenses. So I'm gonna strength sap and get some of this HP back. Also, I'm gonna surprise my opponent with a huge max flare. With a huge max flare. Octillery special attack is absolutely through the roof. Honestly, Octillery is such high special attack. Um, obviously not stab. Trying to get all the legends. Yeah, are you enjoying the uh, the max dance? What do you think of them? I keep getting paired with people who absolutely suck. They always pick the path I don't want to go down. It's so annoying. Fake out. Nice try, Blastoise. Power whip. No! Slow Ferrothorn, obviously, but uh, not slow enough. Am I right? Now we are setting the sun, which hurts us a bit. We can reset the rain against this Diggersby. Um, still not ideal because our damage is only going to be half. Special attack, special attack, special attack, special attack, special attack. Ah, damn it. A plus four attack, special defense. <laughs> That's bad. So. He's got a Diggers being a Blastoise. I wonder could we fire off a huge liquidation into his Diggers B. How many turns of trigger have we got? Three turns of trigger, I think. 
See, Graphlock is just so bad. Alright. Let's see what we can do. We have to go for them. Dodgy guy working with Langs makes a fatal time to play for me. Yeah, I'm also the trolling peeps. <laughs> Bro. Yo, I recorded the two wins. I recorded them so I can send them to you later. So, do we go for the Max Geyser and power up his water moves? What else? He gets Max Steel, right? Or do we go for a Max Steel spike? Boost our own defenses. Yeah, let's boost our own defenses. Yeah, I know what it's like. I'm working a lot as well. I pretty much only get to play on Tuesdays, which is now. What is, what's he maxing, boys? Blastoise? That's a Pokeball. Feels like Blastoise. Yeah, you should have seen. Oh, no! So we have nice and boosted defense. And we get a big drain punch off on Diggersby. Hopefully they're scared of the uh, grab locked. Beautiful, look at that damage. Hydro pump in the sun. Ambitious move by my opponent. I don't know why they didn't go for the max on that max. Uh... People disrespect Octillery every day. Every day they disrespect Octillery. And I'm so glad we went for the steal. Life Orb. So we're going to boost our defenses. Ah! <laughs> this is what you get when you play against Artillery. This is what you get. You get Rage Quits. As soon as they see what Artillery can do. Was it over for my opponent there? I mean... Realistically, we were probably going to KO your Maximon next turn with another Drain Punch and then uh, Max Steel. Then it's Blastoise against three. He doesn't know who I have in the back. What does he get for Moody? Special Defense plus two. Nice. Special Attack down again. No fit. Yeah, Octillery sucks. Octillery is bad. Uh, unless you have it on the same team as five other squids. I think we gotta play one more. Uh, I do. I do not think they're internet DC'd. I do not think they're internet DC'd. Um, they just uh, saw the power, saw the power of Octillery. Rank twenty thousand man. Tentacle steam. Here we go. Alright, our first opponent, number 450, so if they lose, they're in so much trouble. Okay, let me see this team. I really do not like that Among Us, man. Oh, I really do not like that Among Us. Um, I think what we might have to do, uh, get the Trick Room set up, I really hate that Rillaboom as well. Um, Among Us and Rillaboom are threats. 
Uh, all right. So I think we're going to go the trick room route. Jealous and Octillery. Uh, let's see what happens. And then in the back, who do we need in the back? Tentacruel is kind of amazing against this team. I'm going to bring Tentacruel and uh, it's either Malamar or Nile Ego. Doesn't have many special attackers for the Malamar's Assault Vest. Um, Alright, now you go, whatever. This is actually hilarious because we are ranked 20,000 in the world because uh, this team absolutely sucks. Ah, oh, same trainer card, nice. 259, 369. My opponent is flexing on me hard with that trainer number. So we are ranked 20,000, our opponent is ranked 450, he's the top 500 player in the world. Uh, if they lose, their ranking is absolutely going to tank. Um, I, wonder now. I wonder is my opponent going to go for the uh, Spore onto my Jellicent? Would be anticipating the trick room. It has to be a nasty plot here, right? Has to be a nasty plot. Okay. I don't think we will get this off. Well, let's go for a trick room. And, uh. God, it would be hilarious if we hit the fire blast, wouldn't it? Normally, I max with, um. Octillery. To, because uh, Fire Blast is only 85% accurate. Oh, it doesn't know what's going to happen. Let's see. Go on, Artillery! Nice. Into who? Oh, okay. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. We got our trick room off. Our opponent is uh, giving me a lot of respect. And I'm just doing uh, some very dumb things. Especially like... Oh. <gasps> Bro. This... Would a Shadow Ball take out? Oh, a Shadow Ball would be amazing. Water Spell would get damage on both. Would a Shadow Ball take out the... Uh, See what we can do. Maybe big surf then. So we're guaranteed one turn of sleep. That first turn went very well. Yeah, another spore. My opponent's gonna get the nasty plot off. Um I think what we have to hope for here is uh one turn wake ups. Uh so mandatory first turn of sleep taken by both my team. And a nasty plot from the opposing Moltres. So that Moltres is very, very scary right now. I think uh, it's it's dark move into our Jealous and would just be crazy. Oh, we are now plus four special attack. Look at this artillery. Bro. We, we have to hope for the turn one wake up. But, uh, yeah, we have to hope for the turn one wake up. And, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, is there any point? Maybe should I switch out here? Tentacle is reasonably fast. Or do we leave it in? Alright, whatever. Water spout. And a max flare. Actually, max geyser into this thing. Whatever. I know that's going to hurt um, our ability to do... Oh, that was a perfect turn as well. It's like my opponent is really, really trying hard. Now, what we have on our artillery is the Rindo Berry. So, over in the right it says Mystic Water. I literally, right before this battle, changed to put a Rindo Berry off. Oh, we didn't get the... Uh, that's perfect. Okay, both of us taking uh, a second turn of... Or a second turn of sleep on the artillery. 
Let me see, this is a plus two. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Especially that, go on. Especially defense, that right? Attack. Ugh. This artillery is just so huge right now. Um, I'm gonna strength sap the Rilla. See if we wake up here, that would be just so huge. He does have the priority grass move is the problem. So, let me see. How many turns of trick room are left? Two out of five. We just kind of fire one of these off. I mean, the grassy glide, we've got that Rindo Berry. Hopefully, it won't do too much. Ooh, no. Very annoying. Oh, that was so close, my bros. Oh, why are we taking so many turns of sleep? This is dumb. This is so dumb. Okay, last turn of trip room. 10 10 I illegal. So. Oh, we were doing so well. Plus 4 special attack, that would have been just crazy. Alright, it's not over yet. Mm, I wonder is this bandit? Rilla. Gonna go for the Maxus and the. Uh, let me see. Now he goes faster than uh, Moltres. All right, let's get it off anyway. Big meteor beam. I found the Maxus, probably the Moltres. Yeah, that's a Moltres looking ball. Yeah, there you go. So it's max dark or max airstream into something. Let's see. Love ball. Because I love my pokes. Big shiny tenta. Let's do this. So in trick room. I think I'll be going first. Grassy glide into the Iligo. It's fine. Oh, I guess I'm so fast. Both. Ugh. Oh. 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 So well. Well, I suppose if we can get this, nah. There is how many more turns of trick room? I think, oh, there you go. Okay, so we're going first this turn. So I wonder if we can get a big uh, hit off on this Moltres plus one. It'll probably be a grassy, gl grassy glide out of the uh, Rilla. Switch out, that's fine. Totally fine with me. My opponent's playing very carefully. Regenerator on the Amoongus. Maxus. Alright. I think that's GG to my opponent. Actually, I get speed boost. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Alright. GG. Man, we came close though. If we got one or two less turns on sleep, which I know is kind of a dumb thing to say, but. Close. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Start a new game. Alright. The uh, classic Saffron City music. Another 20,000 ranked player. Bro, this is like a series 
five team. So, hmm, I'm actually pretty confident we can get the drip room up here. Does Gardevoir get expanding force? I wonder should we bring Malamar in the back just in case. And then who's number four? Tentacruel, weak to those two psychic types. Nihiligo, weak to everything. All right, Tentacruel it is. Let's go. So obviously the, the strategy here, get a trick room off with Jealous in turn one. And then uh, see what we can do with Octillery in the back. Another 20,000 rank player. Peter probably hasn't uh, played much VGC in the last while, which explains the old team. But uh, we found a pretty cool opponent for today's battle. He's taking his time. Probably ghouling what the half of these pokes do. Looking up in Peakalytics. What's that grab blocked? Literally getting into the last second. Peter's nervous. Shaking in his boots. Amazing trainer card. Look at those badges as well. So cool. Alright. What have you got, Peter? Card of our NDD. So is this going to be expanding force, man? If so, there's no way I can get a... Uh, Hopefully it's a follow me. Follow me from the NDD. So I gotta go for Trick Room. I wonder, should I protect here? I think I should protect. Would it make more sense to switch into where I'm on the mark? Now, I'm gonna hope for the follow me on Ndidi. Follow me max move will be just amazing. Peter really likes to think about his moves. Tagged. Let's see. Expanding for a spam. Should have switched into Malamar. Might not get the KO. Although I feel like Carboy's got a very special attack. Ooh, we just about manage it. Amazing. Special attack, let's go. Special attack. Mm. Special defense. Ooh. That is so bad. So, let me just check something here. Yeah. Hmm. I need to get like nearly all of my health back. I can just get the KO here. Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon, right? Get the big kill with Octillery. I wonder if my opponent would be scared now. Probably doesn't know what either of these two folks do. Protect. Oh, perfect. This is literally the perfect turn. Flash Cannon. Lots of damage. Special defense drop. Yes. Shadow Ball for the kill. Go on. Don't mess with the technical team, man. Huh? Right. Special attack. Let's go. Special attack. Ugh, just for attack, man. It's no use. Speed falls. Good. In trick room. So I want to see a big physical attacker next. Show me a big physical attacker. So we're going to Spanning Force Protect on the Ndidi. Oh man. 
Peter. Really thinking it out. Let me see. Oh, my tentacle. Is very scared of Primarina. Tentagruel, not so much. Maybe we should focus down the. Uh... Focus down the Aditi. This will be a big surf. HP back. Very nice. Nice chunk of damage on the NDD. Big special defender. Strength sap. Get some more of our HP back. Let's just see what we can do here. Actually, maybe I should have done that on the. Uh... Rindo Berry. Yeah, boys! <laughs> Look at that, how we survived. Now it's probably going to go down to this uh, expanding force, but um, at least expanding force can be single target now because my opponent got rid of their terrain. Into the jail, so go on. Yes. Survive another turn. Get a bit of HP back from artillery. Amazing. So we're plus four attack on the artillery, so I think I might actually go for strength sap onto my own artillery this turn. Moody, special attack, defense, speed again. All right, I'm gonna strength sap the artillery. Galaxy brain play. So let me see. Should you go for a big surf again, which um. Hopefully we'll bring uh, bring our Jellison back up to full with the Strength Sap as well. Beautiful, beautiful damage on the Indeedee. Amazing. Back to full. Max Overgo on the Jelly. And the Focus Sash. It remains intact. Expanding force into the artillery. Okay. So I think we have one turn of trick room left. And uh, let me see. We've got this tentacruel here. Which is going to do huge damage. Huge damage. Mm. So, let me just check. One turn of trick room, right? One turn of trick room, okay. So, Jelly should be moving first. Water spell isn't really going to do anything. Shadow Ball obviously is an effect. Just get a bit of chip, may as well. And a max. Copy the max ooze into Indeedee, right? Or maybe we should uh, max guard. Stall at the last turn of. Because, uh, uh. I have a feeling my opponent's going to be double targeting the tentacruel right now. Jellison isn't really a threat, it's just sat there and 
strengths up, so stuff, absorb attacks, not really doing anything. I'm hoping for the double target into uh, the tentacruel. So I'm gonna max guard uh, to keep it a full HP. Um, so let's see if that pays off for us. Shadow Ball, a little bit of chip into the Primarina. Max Overgrowth into the Protect. And an Expanding Force into the Protect. Beautiful. Beautiful Pokemon here today, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful. So let me see. We're going to be moving first. Um, Shadow Ball into the brim. So we could fire off a Maxus. I think the play is. Actually, maybe I should go for a. We start to just gradually get our health back. Yeah, let's gradually start to get our health back. I'm hoping a Maxus will KO this in DD. Next turn will be a plus two or plus one. Actually, plus two if we have a plus three if we get our weakness policy triggered. Hopefully, we can KO this in DD, which means next turn we can one shot the Primarina. Ah, protect. Well, that's fine. That's actually fine. Looks like we wouldn't have KO'd it anyway. So we're plus one special attack, which is amazing. Energy ball. Swings up into nothing. My opponent is uh, doing a good job of stalling out my own. Trick room, or my own Dynamax turns, I mean. I'm gonna Strength Sap again. I'm gonna go for the Max Ooze. This is my last chance to uh, raise my own special attack. Hopefully, he won't protect on the Pre Marini. He's gonna think I'm gonna target down the Ndidi. So, we've only seen Protect Expanding Force. I wonder if this Ndidi carry uh, follow me. If it does. We haven't seen it yet. Big damage on the Prim. Okay. So we're plus two special attack now. Expanding force. A lot of damage there. There's the weakness policy. Now my opponent has really got to be scared. Energy ball. Hopefully we won't do much. Ugh. Crits. So annoying. Strike up. Definitely not going to get a lot of help back from that, but uh, jealous of this sticking around. So that's our Dynamax done. Who do we target? So we. I wonder is this Aqua Jet actually? I'm gonna go for another strength sap into the pre marina. Actually, are you already minus one attack? Yeah, you are. Hmm. Is you gonna shadow ball or should I? Spell won't do enough. All right, I get a water spell and I gotta protect. I want to scare for my opponent's protect. If they're gonna protect the Indeedy this turn, I obviously don't want to attack into that slot. Um, I can KO anything I want. Follow me. Beautiful. And then uh, show me the energy ball into the protect. Poetry. Absolute poetry, ladies and gentlemen. Huge KO on Indeedy there. Peter is in trouble. And I think he knows it. 
Now, the Prime Rainer, I think, is a solid vest. It hasn't, hasn't shield protect yet. Ooh, bravery. Is a Braviary faster than a Tentacruel? I have no idea. Although it does mean we can't, uh... I mean, we're in really good shape now with the, uh... We're in really good shape now with the, um... Actually, do you know what? I'm actually going to go for a Shadow Ball into the Prim. I need to confirm. Sludge bomb the prim as well. Yeah, no protect on the prim. I think this is an assault vest set. It, this will mean that our shadow ball is going to do nothing, but uh, we've got the Nihiligo in the back, which is just a really good sign. Shadow ball going to do nothing, but uh, that's fine. To, uh, we don't want to risk triggering Defiant with the liquidation. All comes down to this. We've got flinches to play for, misses to play for. Yeah, Brave Bird, I think, is your best move. Big recoil. Superpower. What's it going to do? Big damage. Get the defense boost. I was considering going for a strength sap onto our own Malamar there. Oh, we got the W. Yes. Jellicent. MVP. Look at that. GG to my opponent, Peter. You played your heart out. Um, but I take the W this time, my friend. Awesome. Here we are, folks. Ranked 20,000 in the world. see who we've got. 18,000, I like it. Alright, Holden. My gosh, I hate Cartana so much. So... Mm, Ice Horse as well. A lot of this team is scary. Okay, I think um, I think I'm just gonna try and get the trigger off again. Get the trigger off, and then come in with the heavies afterwards. Um, my team is super, super, super weak to Kartana. So if my opponent leads with it, um, I think I have to max my artillery and go for a max flare. Shut that thing down very quick. Um. Yeah, let's see. Sweet trainer card. Love the crown. 69. Absolute classic. Let's see what Holden is. Holden for us. Where do you like the card? Oh, we're not going to get trick room up. Um, unless my opponent fires a leaf blade off into... Let me see. We have no good switch-ins either. All right, so we're gonna have to hope that our opponent leaf blades into Octillery. Basically that there's only one attack into the Jellison slot. So either 
I feel like the, the electro web is coming right off this Regilecki. So if it's a volt switch into our artillery, and then any kind of attack, uh, or a volt switch into Jellicent, and then a Cartana attack into the uh, artillery. That's pretty much the only way we're going to get out of this. Light screen. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh! That is so good. Yes. All right. Special attack, special attack, special attack. Uh. Okay, speed falling is fine because we are going to go. Let me see. First, anyway, is there any point in going for the uh, water spout then? Maybe it's just a shadow ball. So this Kartana is dangerous. Uh, the Surf will be so good as well. The surf Water Spout will be so powerful. But I feel like we need to shut down this Kartana ASAP. Um, let's see. That max artillery. Artillery's special attack is enormous. It has basically the same special attack as Nile Ego, which is insane. Um, Octary number one damage dealer on this team. Um, as I said, now I've actually changed his item to uh, Rindo Berry, so I don't want to see a focus sash on this thing. Good night, Cartana. Now that went down kind of slow. Um, I wonder does... Uh, Will that light screen start to cause us problems? Big shadow ball. Small damage. Special defense drop, amazing. This is like a full support. Reggie Alecki. My opponents end up to reflect. Probably not aware that a uh, special attack is on this team. Yes, get the special attack boost. Attack fall, amazing. That's exactly what we want. We're now plus two special attack. Um, about to do some crazy, crazy damage. Um, artillery slower as well, so if we want to set the rain, dust claps. So, it's going to see our focus sash and our window berry. Uh, who else could our opponent have in the back? It's got to be Glacier, right? It's got to be Glacier. So. How many turns of trick room are left? I d really don't want to give this, uh, give my opponent the free switch in. We should go for a big, uh, when can we take this out? Shadow Ball and a, uh, Max Steel Spike, Max Geyser. Start getting a defense boost now. Ah. Excellent play by my opponent, actually. Excellent play. Yeah, that's especially defensive. Or, well, light screen is up as well, I guess. Um, obviously, my opponent... Uh, Friending me greatly with the uh, Reggie Alecki. What's he gonna go for this turn? Volt switch. Hmm. So we can. Um, I'm thinking I want to set the uh, set the rain this turn. So I'm gonna set the rain with our artillery. Special attack boost again. Yes! Set the rain with artillery. Um, and strength sap to start. Uh, although I wonder. We could do huge damage into this glacier. Actually, maybe I should do that. Okay, so we're already. Oh, we're not because of the haze. Hmm.
Maybe it is a max flare then. Okay, sun boosted max flare into the glacier. Let's see what we can do. So hopefully it's not a protect this turn. He's maxing, that's fine. Um, his glacier should actually be moving first in trick room because it's slower. Um, so let's see what he goes for. Um, max ice, max ground, max... Maybe max ice to change the weather. Haze again. Yeah, annoying, but whatever. I'm telling you, Octillery is so good. Max Quake. Into the jelly. Yeah. So frustrating. Special defense. Just take out that light screen up. So frustrating. Plus one attack. Yeah. Very well played by my opponent. A crit here would be amazing. Sun boosted Max Flare, absolutely enormous. Ooh! Yes! So that crit went right through my opponent's screen. Attack. I wonder does my opponent know if I'm a special attacker on artillery? Hard to know. How many turns of Trick Room left? I didn't catch it. So. I think it's more important that we keep Nihiligo for the end game. Uh, we can bring in our Tentacruel here. Um, Tentacruel will be in very big trouble if it came up against a uh, Reggie Alecki. So are the Twisted Dimensions back to normal? Okay, one turn of Trick Room left. So. Hmm. Try for the poison on the glacier. Let me see. Fully accurate with the flash cannon. Try and double attack on the glacier. What can my, my opponent possibly the max guard? Is very obvious. Max guard followed by. I don't know. I think my opponent max guards. They're just kind of mostly wasting a turn of their own. Nothing here. Now the great news is my opponent can only KO one of my pokes. Max Quake probably into the Tenta. Ah. Respecting the real threat that is Octillery. Good threat identification by my opponent. Now I don't even know if this Sludge Bomb is going to KO the Glacier. This Glacier is starting to get really scary. Life Orb. Come on, we need to do like 20 damage probably. Oh no! Poison, 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 poison! Nah! Well, let me see. We're out of Trick Room now. So, this Nihiligo, or this Glacier is definitely going down this turn or next. So, I wonder what my opponent, Max Guard. Max guard and go for the um Ah, oh, none of these is really doing any damage. Max guard reset the trick room. Alright, I'm gonna gamble and try and cover all my bases here. So no max guard. So my opponent is letting me take their glacier. I wonder are they going to set a trick room? Like, this glacier is going down. Big meteor beam. Good night, those claps. Crit possibly mattered. If my opponent still has light screen up, that definitely mattered. Two crits in a row. Well, I mean, I'm using a tentacle team, so come on. Plus two special attack and a sludge bomb. Finish off the big ice horse. This is why you don't mess with the technical team. This is exactly why. Getting these kills. Sun is finally gone. I can start to using my water attacks again. This is a crushing blow to Holden. Three, six, nine. 
excellent trainer number but uh yeah more power and uh let me see sludge bomb so bolt switch to kill the tentacruel oh the one hp survival the tree and proc trigger my weakness policy as well well, if my opponent hadn't lost up until this point, they definitely lost now. A couple of unlucky crits there, but um, I'm going to take them. As I say, if you've got a tentacle team, you need as many crits as you can. GG.